How's it going, Sonic Moto fans? I'm Sonic Moto, and we have something brand new. Maybe you can hear it, maybe you can't. I don't think it sounds all that much different, although it sounds sweet, and it'll sound only sweeter when I do something to it. And that is, we have a brand new Delvec exhaust installed on this beast of a 919. And hell yeah, I love it. It's shiny. It's new. I love it. Like McDonald's. We're loving it. I suppose I could tell you guys what it was like to install the exhaust. And being that I just didn't do little slip-ons, I did a slip-on, but also the catalytic uh, converter removal kit. So basically, you're taking out even that Y piece that goes behind the shock. Now there's the issue, and I didn't realize that when purchasing, you have to get this piece out from behind the shock. AKA, you must remove the shock. I've never done that before. Um, I did some research though. There was a video, and I'll include it, the link in the description below on, on a visual for you guys, but the video explained that you can take load off of the frame and the shock so that you can get the pivot points out and the bike won't do anything wonky once you get the bolts out by putting a scissor jack from your car on top of the wheel and uh, in some, in my case, I didn't have to put any plank of wood, but you may want to in your case, depending on bike design, but over the front wheel and just sort of jack up the frame a little bit. You don't have to go crazy. I did like maybe two turns of this jack just to take the weight off. And uh, you'll know you've got the weight off properly when you've got the uh, nut off of the, uh, the little, freaking uh, the little sticky metal thing that goes the bolt <laughs> when you got the nut off the bolt and uh you can move the nut sorry you can move the bolt in the little part that goes through and holds the shock that's when you know you've got it perfect it may be like you may have to give it a half a turn or a quarter turn it'll start binding up if you give it more or less uh, stress relief if you will but that seemed to work out quite well for me it took a little bit of uh, finagling and adjusting but it was quite stable but once i got the shock out everything else was sort of a breeze and Dovaic didn't give me any instructions but with some sort of uh, thinking and uh, clarity from my brain, I, I sort of put it together the proper way. He said, I think I did. If you couldn't hear the difference, this is with the baffles out and oh, oh, I'm in love with my motorcycle. Finally, I love the baffles out sound. And it will give those cracks and pops. Not as joyous a pleasure as the Ninja 300, but it's definitely there. It's a lot louder, although it's not like killing me on the bike. I definitely feel like people will hear me now. What do you guys think? Do you love it with the uh, the baffles out? I do. I'm not even like really talking. I'm just enjoyed, I'm just impressed, and just silenced by the the joyfulness of this exhaust note. thing I definitely did not do was run it without an exhaust. A, I was just really motivated to put it on, and B, I feel like a douche just doing that, especially in an apartment complex. And I feel like everybody does that when they swap the exhaust. They have to at least start it up and be like, ah, no exhaust. What does it sound like? It sounds loud. Can't have that. I would never run without an exhaust. I mean, this thing is plenty loud as is. I feel like people definitely know I'm here. I love the sound of it. And overall, the look is just fantastic. It's shiny. It's shiny. I love it. I love it. I love it. Did I mention I love it? Loving it. That roll on. Huh. You use blinkers, sir? No? Anyway, if you guys enjoy this type of content, let me know. Fist bump that thumbs up button, as always. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Comments.
most welcome down below. If you ride, ride safe. Sonic Moto signing out. Twisters. Woo! Love that twisty.